Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Ophia P2 Pro triple monitor screen. Uh, I've been using it for a few days and I really like how it has made everything so productive for me. And I'm able to do multiple tasks at one time without having to actually have a full-blown computer setup and this is very portable as well. So here I'm taking out the screen out of the box and it has these buttons on it for power and adjusting the brightness and settings. And then there's this one button that expands the screen. So when I press that, it's going to expand and I'm going to be able to latch it onto the monitor screen of my laptop. And on the back, there are two ports. One is for the PD port and then the other one is for the type C. And there's also the TF card, which comes with the pre-installed drivers that I'm going to be showing later on how to install as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the laptop screen. It's easiest to do it when the laptop screen is facing down. And then I'm just going to put it on, make sure that it's snug and tight uh, so that it stays on. And then we can go ahead and pull out the screens from either sides. Once that is done, there is um, a stand in the back that we're going to adjust. And that's going to give extra uh, strength for the laptop to be able to handle these screens. As you can see, I'm using an elite book, so it's not the uh, heaviest itself. So this stand in the back really helps. There's a dial on it that if you unscrew, uh, it pops out the extension to the stand. And then that way, um, the screens are supported on the laptop. So this is what it looks like when uh, I figured out my right adjustments. And we'll go back on the front and show what it looks like. So now that it is on, um, we can go ahead and connect the cords. So it comes with a USB-A to USB-C cord, um, which we are not going to use because my laptop actually has two USB-C ports. So I'm going to use the cord that comes with it for the USB-C to USB-C connection. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into my uh, laptop. And there's this little opening between the laptop screen and the P2 Pro screen. And I'm just going to pass the wire through there so that it's not uh, just making any clutter on the desk. But once I do that, in the back, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the Type-C port. So I'm just looping it through. Once it's through, there we go. We're going to connect it to the Type-C port. And this is easiest done uh, by just turning the laptop screen down all the way so you can actually see the ports. Once that is done, the screen turns on as plug and play. The first time I did, I did have to go and install the driver. So they are pre-installed in the, in the TF card that is already installed in the screen. So all I need to go was my computer and find the um, SD card and then just run the installation from there for uh, Windows but you can choose Mac OS or whichever operating system you're using. By pressing the button on the P2 Pro, the settings menu comes up and you can adjust brightness, contrast, color temperature, backlight, pretty much anything you can think of. But my favorite setting is the color temperature so I can kind of flip back and forth between different uh, settings as I, if I'm watching a video or I'm working on a document and I can really adjust that. Um, the button on the top, the one that is next to the plus and minus, is actually a power button as well. So by holding it down and pressing it down, it turns the screen on and off. But when you're in the settings menu, pressing it also functions as an enter button. So it helps you navigate between the different options on the settings menu. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it between the different settings and adjust brightness and stuff like that. But in the meantime, you can see that this screen is pretty much the same size as my laptop screen. And I have two... Uh, so one on each side and that really means i have three monitors and it's really helpful when i'm working on several documents at the same time and i need to read one write one or if i just need to have something else open on the other side whether it's for my email or some video that i'm watching it's really helping me be productive um, because i have full screens there's 13.3 inches on each side and my laptop screen is almost 14 inches so i really have three monitors and all i need is one power cord or the USB-C cord to power it all up and be good to go instead of having to plug in each of the sides separately, which is something I wasn't a fan of. And that's why I wanted the P2 Pro because I know there's other models out there that require a power cord or a USB-C cord for each side. And that just wasn't something I was into. 
but this really makes it seamless and easy and I do have a, a light laptop so it really doesn't become a very bulky or heavy for me to carry as well it folds down easily which I'll be showing later and because of that I think it is the perfect solution for me and for the purpose that I need it to use for and I can easily move throughout the house or when I'm going to my client site or the office I can easily take it with me without having to um, you know, carry a large monitor with me or having to worry about my setup. So I know I mentioned this before, but my favorite setting is the color temperature because these are sort of pre-programmed into the P2 Pro and all I need to do is flip between the different settings to find which one works for me best for the purpose, if it's a video or if it's a document that I'm working on. And I'm just flipping through them here to show that they actually do show and you can see a notable difference as I'm flipping through the different settings. But yeah, that's one of my favorite and easiest to use as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fold the screen down. First thing is to close the stand in the back and it's just the opposite of how we opened it. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and power the screens off from the top. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and close the screens on each side, starting with one side that folds first. And then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. It's easiest done when you close the lid down completely and then close the screens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close one side and then once that's folded, I'm going to go ahead and fold the other side. I like to take the power cord or off just so that I can make sure that it stays protected and doesn't have any damage from just transit and staying in the bag. But you can leave it on personal choice. It does come with two. So if I end up with it not working, I can use the other one. But then I'm just going to go ahead and take it off the monitor or the laptop um, if that is something that I was looking for. But super simple and super easy to use. The Ophia P2 Pro costs about 500 bucks, but it is probably the best double monitor setup I've tested yet. And it makes your laptop a powerful triple monitor productivity station. For instance, last year I tested the Trio Max which was great but I prefer Ophia's offering because of a well thought out mounting solution. You just simply need to press the release button, squeeze it until your laptop screen is secure in the rubber padded supports and extend the back support arm. When you are done working, simply fold two screens into your compact chassis and put it in the supplied travel pouch. Inside the retail box, you also get two USB-C to USB-C cables, one USB-A to USB cable, and some paperwork. I love the fact that these two monitors work with just a single USB Type-C cable, although you need to install the driver manually. I like the fact that the company used metal chassis on each of the monitors, which gives a bit of a premium look and feel. The build quality is very good too. Each screen is 13.5 inches in size and they sport 1080p resolution. The quality of panel is not on par with a MacBook Pro screen but it is still plenty sharp for everyday productivity tasks. The presentation mode is pretty useful when you want to share the contents of the display with your colleagues or friends. You can duplicate or screen mirror on the laptop or launch Dex mode on Samsung phones. I found monitors to be working great with my MacBook Pro in each mode. Other key features include the ability to change quite a few settings, there are control keys on the top, two USB-C ports on the bottom and even a micro SD card slot. The only downside is that the device is a huge fingerprint magnet. Overall, the Ophia P2 Pro is a really nice pair of monitors that make your laptop a portable triple monitor productivity station. So far, it is the best multiple monitor implementation I've ever tested and I can definitely recommend it.